Well, that was close. This is ridiculous. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have borrowed this vest. I love all these useful pockets, but this may get me killed. Here we go again. I think I lost them. They just had to run out of camo. Why did I have to join an alliance that was so poorly funded? June still owes me big time. Meet her hem or pants. June, are you there? Hi, you've reached Mountain June. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, I will be sure to get back to you. Bye now. Yeah, June, I, uh, I hope you get this message. Um, <laughs> I, I thought of a great way you could start paying me back uh, for all that you owe me, you know, when you almost got me killed last time when I was taking that non-emergency call. Uh, yeah, uh, just send me a camo uh, poncho or trench or something, um, and uh, that, that, that should start to, you know, pay me back for, you know, everything that you owe me. Anyway, um... Yeah, gotta run, literally, and um, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, later. She thinks I owe her the nerve of some people. Though I do have this fabric here that I really don't want to waste. I could probably make that poncho for her. And you know what? She would never know the difference. Okay. Oh. I could definitely make this work. It was recommended that I get this tarp from Harbor Freight, but the one I saw used was a lot better quality than the one I found. The trouble with trying to make something work is just how hard you have to try. I was realizing quite quickly that I was going to have to find an alternative fabric. So after I shared my bacon gouda with um, Anakin, after we were fortified, we went to Joanne's, where I was bound to find the right fabric. Oh my god. I was really here for just one project but of course I'm easily distracted so it's very important to have a list when you come into the store at least for me it is because I get easily distracted but um, having a dog with a Star Wars name gives me a little bit of freedom to get Star Wars fabric I opted for a gray, kind of dingy looking canvas fabric rather than the khaki or even the green. Too crooked nose. Too got crooked nose. Because he's missing all but two of his teeth and those teeth aren't even opposing, his nose gets bent out of shape when he sleeps on it funny. It's important to use the right machine needle. I changed out the universal needle I had in my machine um, for one of these and I used a longer stitch length, not the standard one. Did you really think you'd uh, get through one of my videos without seeing me press something? 
Yeah, and I used the um, hottest, uh, highest setting on my iron to uh, do that, and it really pressed nicely, this canvas fabric. The guide that I used to make this poncho um, mentioned pleats um, in the neck, so that's me putting in those pleats, and they really press nicely. I just had to make sure they went in the right direction. I'd never made a hood like this, so I was having trouble visualizing how it was gonna go. Um, and top stitching always makes something, especially made out of this kind of material, look so much better. My stiletto was also proving very useful because this was a pretty tough fabric. I managed to do this without having to break out my walking presser foot. The weird side pieces. Um, and that problematic square-ish back section. Top stitched. You know, on the pleatings down here. So I think I think it's all good. Couldn't really tell. The odds are really against this actually being worn up like this, but but uh, yeah, I think I think this is good. I, I, Now I had to work on the body of the poncho. The first thing I was going to do was finish the edges um, with the turned up hem. Uh, I have another little tutorial for uh, the turned up hem. If you care to watch it, I'll put it in the description down below. Since the sides were already finished with the selvage, I just turned them up by about six inches deep. So while I was at Joanne's, I made sure I didn't have to go back, got extra paint some textile medium. Um, in the tutorial that I saw online, um, she was just using acrylics, but I wanted this to be washable if need be, so I'm using fabric paint and I'm going to heat set it. Um, so I've never painted fabric before, at least not on this scale, so <sighs> you're going to see how this is going to turn out. I want it to look as organic as the screen used one. So we're gonna try this. I had plenty of fabric medium to turn this acrylic paint into fabric paint. And I started with the side pieces and uh, I, I, it was kind of, I was kind of getting anxious cause it was looking, uh, very preschool art meets painting accident. It was also not blending very well, and that was only because the canvas was so dry. Um, there were several times where I wish I could pull a Bob Ross and mix some liquid white with fabric medium so that the colors would blend better. I was getting really nervous because this was not a happy accident. This was looking a lot like one big, huge accident. I was just glad that I remembered to eat. Oftentimes when I get involved in a project, I totally forget to eat and then I wonder why I feel weak. All that was left was the hood. Um, this painting part took way longer than I thought it was gonna take. Once the painting was done, I let it dry overnight. You waiting for me? You waiting for me? You waiting for me? You left a spot for me? You left a spot? Oh, oh boy. Once it was dry, it actually looked more screen accurate, I guess. Um, so I, it was time for the last step. I had to attach, make a neck hole opening here and uh, attach the hood to the cape body. And I also had to make openings for the belt to go um, so that it would sit right and be screen accurate. Oh. 
I'm a little busy at the moment. You usually are. I do hope I'm not endangering your life again. I'm safe for the moment. I'm pretty sure I lost the trooper that was tailing me. Well, that's a relief. I'd hate to think you were dodging blast bolts. But this is truly ridiculous. They must think I'm somebody else. Well, at least you weren't cosplaying as a face character like the princess or a spy smuggler. That'd definitely get you noticed. They might start thinking you're a troublemaker or a rebel. You don't want to give the impression that you're up to no good. I have no idea what would give them that impression. Anyway, I have that poncho you wanted. That was quick. You have no idea how glad I am you got my message. <sighs> yeah, you know there's a time differential. The rubber bands only touch when we contact each other. Ah, <sighs> that's right. You, you know so much more about this than I ever did. Anyway, as I do have other projects to finish that are unrelated to your romp on the forest moon, um, I'll be sending that over now. Not bad. This should work out perfect. Glad to hear it. You better hurry up and put it on. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Hold on. Thanks, June. Thanks for rescuing me. I owe you one. If you insist. Gotta go. Also, before I forget, because I forget, um, happy 40th anniversary uh, to Return of the Jedi, uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. Thanks for watching till the end. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, because occasionally I do make fangirly type stuff, um, then um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post as often as I can. I hope you had a great May the 4th be with you. And don't forget, never forget, the Force will be with you always. Never tell me the odds.